Greetings YouTube, Big Silver Bear here, coming back to you with another video of scores, scores, scores from the local coin shop. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of things to go over today, and a lot of really cool stuff that was in the Constitutional Silver Bin at the local coin shop today, so uh, let's get started here. I uh, scored a 2008 Australian Koala Silver Coin. Still in the assay. See if I can bring that up to you a little bit closer. I really, as you know, I really like bears, and of course, I had to get two more Canadian bears. I don't even know how many of these things I got, but I got a bunch. Um, for obvious reasons, I had to pick up a couple of silver bears in BU condition and in the capsules. And this was all the fractional silver that was in the house. Uh, a quarter ounce of bar of silver and a half ounce Walking Liberty. And they did have a bunch of uh, one ounce bars that I just decided to get one old bar. Everything else was kind of uh, modern. You know, your, your basic, you know, A marks and silver towns and all that. And so, that was a, uh, this here was a, a National Refineries and Assayers and serial numbered. And still sealed too. And all these coins that you see in front of you, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in a little bit, was uh, 12 and a half times face <clears throat> for each coin. Uh, starting with some barbers that I got a 1914 D, a 1908 D. Well, you can pretty much read them all and, and see what they are. Um, some of these are in pretty decent shape. This 1906 that you see here is in pretty decent shape. Even though this 1908 is heavily toned, it has nice details. And this 1914 has some pretty nice details as well. Uh, these entire first two and a half rows are, uh, they're all Barber Dimes. And then from here on to here is some Mercury Dimes that I picked up. And uh, all the dates are written below so you can look at and read those. But uh, this 45 here is in pretty nice shape. I would say fine to extra fine there. But uh, the star of the show is this 1916D Barber Quarter. And it was also 12 and a half times face. Not a bad uh, score for 12 and a half times face. And an 1893O Barber Quarter that uh, they were the only ones that I, I felt really warranted putting in the collection. Everything else will go into tubes uh, and get put away. I have, I have a lot of them, so uh, I, have to, I have to pick and choose what goes in the collection in terms of being worthy of a 2x2. Two two. I can't put it all in there like that, so... But it's a beautiful, very nice piece for 12 and a half times face. And also right here, these are uh, Indian Head pennies, a 1900 and an 1892. So some really, really nice scores today uh, from the local coin shop. And these people have been taking care of me for a long, long time. And uh, I'm very happy and very pleased to be able to get barbers and mercuries for 12 and a half times face and even a few of these barbers are in pretty decent shape uh, most of them are kind of average you see a couple are slicked down over here uh, but they all have readable dates and they all look pretty decent on the back comparable f for what you see on the front and uh, I can't complain I can't complain at all. Very, very pleased with the day. Well, YouTube, this is all I got to show you for now. This was my uh, little trip to the coin shop today. 
I uh, appreciate you stopping by to check out my video. And I would also appreciate if you would comment, like, subscribe, share your thoughts, and have a most wonderful and blessed day. Big Silver Bear out.